In this video, we will be solving the last three questions of exercise 11.2 in the textbook, okay, from the chapter of uh, surface areas and volumes, exercise 11.2. So the last three questions are question number 7, 8 and 9. Okay, let us first do question number 7, uh, wherein we are given that the diameter of the moon is approximately one fourth of the diameter of the earth. And uh, we are asked to find the ratio of their surface areas. The first thing we notice here is that the moon and the earth are in the in the shape of a sphere. So therefore, we are going to calculate the surface areas of the spheres. The radius values are not given to us. The only information given in this question is that the diameter of the moon is one fourth the diameter of the earth. So since the radius is half of the diameter, so therefore the radius of the moon will also be one fourth of the radius of the earth. So let us um consider the value for the radius of the earth and denoted by some letter r okay so we have denoted the radius of the earth as r then what will be the radius of the earth uh, of the moon uh, therefore radius of moon we are given that the radius of the moon is one fourth of the radius of the earth because the diameter is one fourth of the uh, of the moon is di is one fourth of the diameter of the earth. So therefore, the radius of the moon will also be one fourth of the radius of the earth, which is nothing but uh, r by four. So one fourth of r, which is nothing but r over four. So we now have the two radii, the radius of the earth and the radius of the moon, in terms of the same. Uh, parameter r so we have considered that the radius of the earth to be r then the radius of the moon will be r by 4 so we can now calculate what is the uh, ratio of these two surface areas so because both this uh, both the uh, earth and the moon are in the shape of a sphere so surface area of earth will be so i'm going to write surface area of Earth is going to be 4 pi r square. The radius is r, so we'll leave it as r square. Similarly, the surface area of moon is going to be 4 pi r square, the radius of the moon squared. But the radius of the moon we have as r by 4, so it's r over 4 squared. Okay, so whatever is the radius of the moon, we have put in, in place of the radius in the uh, formula for the surface area and we have to find the ratio for uh, for these two surface areas so we want to find the surface area of the moon let me write that properly surface area of moon divided by surface area of earth that will be so for the moon, it is 4 pi r over 4 the whole square. Divided by 4 pi r square. Okay. So again, uh, when we have uh, to compute ratios, it is always uh, simpler if we keep the formulas as it is and then uh, apply the ratio. And when we apply the ratio, we will see that some of the common terms will cancel out each other and that will make our calculation much easier. So we see here uh, the 4 and 4 will cancel out. Similarly, the pi and pi will cancel out. So we will be left with r by 4 the whole square, which is r by 4 the whole square divided by r square. So r by 4 the whole square is nothing but r square by 16 divided by r square so we can write that as into 1 by r square so r square and r square will again cancel out so we will get uh, 1 by 16 as our ratio so that's equal to 1 over 16 so the ratio of the surface area of the moon to the surface area of the earth is 1 upon 16. In other words, the surface area of the moon is 16 times smaller than the surface area of the earth. Okay, so we have got the ratio. 
surface area of the moon to the surface area of the earth as 1 over 16 okay so fairly straightforward again the trick here that you should remember when you're solving these kind of problems is uh, to assign uh, some variable to one of the parameters and then based on that parameter uh, assign the value for the other parameter or the other dimension of the other object okay and uh, then whenever we are doing uh, ratios keep the formula as it is so that way what will happen is the common terms will cancel out and we'll have much simpler numbers to perform the calculation upon okay so if we perform the calculation directly uh, on each of the things we are going to increase the amount of calculations that we have to do so in this case uh, it's easier if we keep the formula as it is and we have obtained our ratio of the surface area of the moon to the surface area of the earth as 1 over 16. So let us now move on to the next question. Question number 8 from exercise 11.2. Uh, a hemispherical ball is made of steel 0.25 centimeters thick. So the ball material is having a thickness of 0.25 centimeters. The inner radius is given as 5 centimeters. We are asked to find the outer curved surface area of the ball. So because it's a ball and it is hemispherical, so we are going to calculate the outer surface area of a hemisphere. The only thing that we need is to find the outer radius. We are given the inner radius. So if you look at the diagram here, so the ball is having uh, is made of steel material of thickness 0.25 centimeters. The inner radius, that means from the center of the ball to the inner uh, surface of the ball, the radius is 5 centimeters. And then we have a thickness from the inner edge to the outer edge of 0.25 centimeters. So from that, we can get the value for the outer radius, which will be the inner radius plus the thickness. So that is 5 centimeters plus the 0.25 centimeters. That will give us the outer radius 5.25 centimeters. So let's write that down. So we will have the outer radius as the inner radius plus the thickness of the material. That is the thickness of the ball. So inner radius we are given as 5 centimeters. And the outer uh, and the thickness of the ball is 0.25 centimeters. So the outer radius is therefore 5 plus 0.25, which is 5.25 centimeters. Now we have to apply the formula for the curved surface area of the uh, hemisphere. So let's write that. So we are interested in calculating the curved surface area of the hemispherical ball, and we are interested in the outer curved surface area. So therefore, in the formula for the hemisphere surface area, curved surface area, which is 2 pi r square, in place of r, we are going to use the outer radius because we want to calculate the outer curved surface area. So therefore, uh, we, we will substitute the value of r here. So that will give us 2 into pi is 22 over 7 into r square is 5.25 square. So that's 5.25 into 5.25. And when we perform this calculation, we are going to get a value of 173.25. And the unit of surface area is in unit square, so that's centimeter square. Okay, so we have now obtained the outer curved surface area of the hemisphere for this particular ball of the hemispherical ball is 173.25 centimeter square. Again, it's a fairly straightforward problem. The only uh, trick here is that we are given the inner radius and the thickness of the ball and we are asked to find the outer curved surface area. So to find the outer curved surface area, we need to first find the outer radius. So clearly you can see from the diagram, the outer radius is going to be the inner radius plus the thickness of the ball. So we added the inner radius 5 and the thickness 0.25 to get the outer radius 5.25 centimeters. And from that we can uh, calculate the outer curved surface area which we have obtained as 173.25 centimeter square okay now let us move on to the last question of this exercise okay uh, here we are given that uh, a right circular cylinder just encloses a sphere of radius r so we have a sphere a spherical ball of a certain radius r so the radius of the sphere in the pink line here is r and it is just enclosed by a right circular cylinder. So we have a cylindrical box in which the sphere fits exactly in terms of its width and its height. Okay, so we are asked to find with this information, what is the surface area of the sphere? 
and then the curved surface area of the cylinder so the curved surface area of the cylinder is the surface area on the side of the cylinder excluding the top and the bottom and then we have to calculate the ratio of the two surface areas so we first have the radius of the sphere as r units so the surface area of the sphere is 4 pi r squared so i'm going to write surface area sa as surface area of a sphere equals 4 pi r squared so we have the uh, that's all we can do because the value of r is not given to us so we just leave it as 4 pi r squared which is the formula for the surface area of a sphere the next thing is we need to find the uh, curved surface area of the cylinder so for the curved surface area of the cylinder let's first write down the formula curved surface area of cylinder equals 2 pi r into h that's the formula we have seen at the beginning of this chapter for the curved surface area of the cylinder so 2 pi r and h so what is the radius of the cylinder because the uh, sphere fits exactly inside the cylinder the radius of the cylinder is the same as the radius of the sphere so we have written down here the radius of the cylinder is the same as the radius of the sphere so that means radius of cylinder is equal to the radius of the sphere which is equal to r because the radius of the sphere is r okay the next piece of information we need to we need to calculate the curved surface area of the cylinder is the height of the cylinder so what is the height of the cylinder in this case so if we look at the diagram here because the sphere fits exactly inside the cylinder the height of the cylinder must be equal to the diameter of the cylinder right and diameter is two times the radius so we have this yellow line showing here that's the diameter of the sphere so the height of the cylinder must be exactly equal to the diameter of the sphere so we can write that as the height of cylinder which we will call as h and that will be equal to uh, diameter of the sphere and we know that the diameter of the sphere is 2 times the radius so which is 2 into r so the radius of the sphere we have as we have taken it as r so the diameter of the sphere will be 2 times r so we now have all the information we need to calculate the curved surface area of the cylinder so we have the radius of the cylinder as r and the height of the cylinder as 2r so i'll just write that as 2 into r is basically 2r so now we can calculate the curved surface area of the cylinder so the formula i have just written it down once again here the curved surface area of the cylinder is 2 pi r h and we know that r is equal to r the radius of the cylinder is the same as the radius of the sphere so that will be 2 pi radius is the same and the height h as we have seen in the previous diagram the height of the cylinder is two times the radius of the sphere so that will be into 2r so we get the value as when you multiply we get 4 pi r square again here so the curved surface area of this particular cylinder is 4 pi r square so now we have the surface area of the sphere which is uh, 4 pi r square over here so let me mark it with a box so the surface area of the sphere is 4 pi r square i put a box on it and then we have also obtained the uh, curved surface area of the cylinder so i'm putting a box on that as well just for clarity okay so we have the curved surface area of the cylinder the last thing we have to do is to find the ratio between these two so the ratio is uh, ratio equals uh, surface area of sphere divided by the curved surface area of cylinder 
So in this case, uh, the surface area of the sphere we have here uh, 4 pi r square. So we just put that same 4 pi r square. So it's 4 pi r square divided by the curved surface area of the cylinder, which we have again obtained as 4 pi r square r square okay 4 pi r square and therefore uh, we get the ratio as uh, 1 over 1 it's 4 pi r square divided by 4 pi r square so therefore the ratio is 1 is to 1 1 is to 1 okay so it's again fairly simple once we understand uh, how to approach the problem okay so in this particular case we are uh, given that the uh, sphere of a certain radius r fits exactly inside a cylinder. So just uh, because the sphere fits exactly inside the cylinder, the radius of the cylinder is the same as the radius of the sphere. And therefore, the height of the cylinder will be equal to the diameter of the sphere, which is nothing but two times the radius. Okay. With that information, we can calculate the uh, expressions for the surface areas of the required parameters of the required shapes and then we have taken the uh, uh, the ratios of the two and we have obtained that ratio as 1 is to 1.